Okay everyone, welcome back to the channel for another video on Gran Turismo 7 and I am back with a daily race C at Red Bull Ring in Group 3. So this week has been quite a good week actually. It's a quite a commonly used combination but it's been enjoyable to race at this combination. We've got another YouTube short coming up soon with just unbelievable final lap. I can't wait to share that one with you on the YouTube shorts. But this race, we're starting from P13. We migrated to the Genesis because this car is much better at this track for overall pace. Even on the medium tires, you can lap almost close to other cars on the soft tires. So yeah, it just works out being a better car for this race. But as you can see here, we've got a reasonably good grid on this race. We've got some fast drivers at the back, some decent drivers at the front, and it's gonna be an interesting one. This was a daytime race, quite a decent lobby actually for a daytime race, but going into turn one, we can see we've got some Spanish drivers in front of us, and we're gonna actually have a Spanish roadblock as we come up here, as we've got three Spanish drivers that are gonna make a free wide going into turn one. So this is a bit of a roadblock up ahead, a little bit of contact between them. We decided to back out, go to the left, try and go for a wider line and then cut back a little bit on the inside to try and gain a few positions there, but didn't quite work out, couldn't really get the power down and still in P13. So going into turn four technically, because that is technically turn three, we're going into turn four now. We go for a little fake, he covers that inside. We go to go around the outside and try and go all the way around the outside. However, he just accelerates and hits us there. And yeah, he was not gonna give us any space at all. So. Fair play. We will move on. We're not going to do anything back. We're going to see if we can get that position cleanly as Rami gets through there, obviously, with us getting pushed out onto the edge of the track. And we've got Consta behind us also there, trying to go around the outside of the track. He's going to try and send it all around the outside, but he's not going to be able to take it around the outside from there in this track with this car as well. But we do get a really good exit from that corner and manage to get past Rami, so back up to P13. Now we've got a penalty up ahead of us and we've got these Spanish drivers going quite aggressively at each other here. Side by side, a bit of contact, more contact there, and he's actually lost control, bit of drifting, and we'll take that position back, thank you very much. And with the exit of the Genesis not being the best there, we actually gain another position. As we can see, we're going up the inside now. I'm gonna try and put ourselves up into P11 before we go into turn one. So break as late as we can, down to second gear, back up to third gear for the power, and we do that quite nicely, keeping it smooth and working our way up the hill. Now, this was a very early race for us in terms of the Genesis, still trying to get used to it, but straight away I could tell this car was definitely so much quicker than the Nissan GTR. Now, one thing you can't do is pit as early as you could with the GTR, but that really didn't matter because the medium tires on this car are insane. They can you know, lap nearly as fast as the GTR on the softs and also, it doesn't really matter because this car can overtake. It's got incredible acceleration. We're going to get some slipstream off P10. Go for a little look up the inside. We go for a move up here. We down first gear, hold the apex, but I run a little bit wide there. And I did give him a little bit of contact. So what we do here is we're going to lift off the throttle. You can see coming off the throttle, let him take that position back and just try and tuck underneath him because it was a bit too much. Tiniest bit of contact, just didn't slow it down enough. So make sure we give him that position back. And now we've got a Spanish driver right up behind us looking to see if he can get past. Now we're gonna try and get a good exit from here, which we managed to do. You can see the P10 doesn't get the best exit there. And we're gonna get a nice run on him with the slipstream here. And we're gonna to go to the right hand side of the track, but he's already gone defensive. Now, when it was live, I thought that was a bit wrong, but looking back on it, I think he had perf there was nothing wrong with it. Perfectly acceptable defensive there. Um, but he does run a bit wide going into that corner and that gives us the position and up into P10 anyway. So yeah, it was, a, it was nothing wrong with what he did there. He, he already started the defensive move going into that corner but when we were in the heat at the moment it did look like he kind of defended where we were going but he didn't it was perfectly acceptable and yeah we're now going to move on and work our way up this straight now we've got a massive gap so it's going to be a while before we catch these drivers up we've got constant behind us but we're going to skip through now to the end of lap four now this is where we're going to think about pitting in the genesis because like i say the tire wear is not the greatest in this car so down to second gear and into the pits on lap four. You can actually go over the white line on the entry there and again over the white line on the entry there. So if you're looking for a few extra attempts on the pit entry, you can actually exploit that a little bit because you can use a slight bit extra bit of the track than what you'd think you can and you won't get a penalty as you can see from me here. No track limit penalty. And now we're gonna work our way up the hill. We can see Consta behind us, 2.6 seconds. I'm not sure what's happened to Consta there. Maybe had a bit of an incident on the pit entry. But now we're going to get the slipstream, skipping ahead to lap six. We're getting the slipstream to the Spanish GMF team at 111 in front of us. 
going up the inside, he gives us a space, and that was fairly clean. Doesn't really fight. He tries to get a bit of an undercut there, but he's not going to make that work. And now we're pushing on up into P9, and we can see P8 and 7 not too far in front of us. So we've definitely got the opportunity to get ourselves into maybe a top six at least in this race, maybe higher, looking at the way it's developing into turn four, trying to get that second gear rotation, and then using that full width for the track and the Genesis, just being careful on the throttle because this car is very easy to snap it's just got the, the way the torque works on it you just have to be a bit gentle with the throttle so you'll see in the corners a lot of time doing a lot of 70 80 percent throttle until we feel confident on that throttle but you can see going through this sector purple we're starting to do some better laps now that we're in clean air and we're pushing up behind the car in front you can see there's a penalty up ahead so that might cause a little bit of chaos as they're going into the corner very very close and we should be able to gain a little bit of time on these drivers in front of us so into the final corner trying to clip the apex being careful not to run wide on the exit there because it's very easy to pick up a penalty running just a fraction wide on that corner we managed to go over the line with the fastest lap of the race so far but Consta quickly takes that from us with a 27.9 as we're i think a lot of people were just transitioning over to the genesis at this time and we're just trying to get used to it because now that we're used to it we are pushing them lap times a lot further into the 27s and really the consistency is really decent with this genesis as well once you're used to it because you can get away with little mistakes because it's just so quick on acceleration if you run a little bit wide on an apex you find that you just get incredible acceleration and it doesn't actually lose you too much time so now we're catching up to p7 and it's starting to get a little bit more interesting we've got quite a few cars in front of us and we actually look like we've got the podium not too far in the distance there and we've got a p5 there with a penalty again that's going to cause a bit of an issue because when he takes that he's going to come right next to the cars in front of us and that's going to cause some battling through these final two, two corners which you can see there slightly getting out of place and that gives us a little bit more jump on this car and then you can see p7 goes for the move on p6 gets that position and we're going to take the position from both of them as they both run a little bit wide and that's a nice double overtake up to p6 on the final corner so going into turn one now we're going to try and get a good exit and see if we can get into that slipstream to p5 and the supra and the supra is another very good car here i have to say it's a car that can take on the genesis from what we've seen so far in terms of tire wear and also overall pace it's a very very quick car around the red Bull. so if you're looking for something different to drive over the genesis or the nissan gtr the, the Supra is actually a pretty good shout here, so give that a try, it probably do quite well. We've seen it doing very well in races. So getting, getting into that slipstream now to Maverick there in front of us, just picking up that slip and just trying to get as close as we can as we skip onto the replay camera. And you can see just how close this is between P5, 6, 7, 8, 9, all in a line there going through these corners. And we can see there just in the distance, another car with a penalty in that top five position. So that car is going to drop a little bit further back now when he takes that penalty. And now we're going through the two left-hand corners before we go into the final two corners. So very, very close to Maverick through here. Just trying to see if we can get as close as possible to get a bit of slip and to get the move done to put ourselves up into P5. No real opportunity to overtake from this far back into this corner. So we're just going to have a little look there just to see if we can unease him a little bit into these final two corners, just so we can get a little bit closer for the main straight where the overtake opportunity is possible. So into that final corner, get on the power, be careful we don't run wide, and we've actually ran a little bit too far wide there, you can see, over the line, and that's a half a second penalty. So we're going to try and get the move done on Maverick here into turn one, break as late as we can, down to second gear, then back up to third gear, keep it nice and stable, be careful on the throttle on the curb there, and now we need to try and I need to try and pull a gap of around seven tenths, which we've managed to do. You can see we've got that gap over nine tenths. It looks like they were battling with Maverick and the car behind us. So we're going to take that penalty and we're not going to lose a position. But we can see another car has had a penalty in front of us. And now we're going to see if we can battle to get ourselves up into this top four position. You can see we've actually got a P2 not too far in the distance. So if we can work our way through quickly, there's definitely an opportunity to get a P2. We've still got four laps left in this race and the tyres are pretty fine at this stage so there's potential to get ourselves all the way up there in P2 if we can work our way past cars as quick as possible as P4 there having a big moment there snap of rear oversteer and that's going to get us a little bit closer with the slipstream all the way into turn three so picking our breaking point in turn three just before the 100 board on the left hand side use the full track width down to first gear get that rotation well we actually didn't do first gear there we used second gear and it actually worked a treat but normally if you don't get the rotation you use first gear to get that rotation and then get to second gear on the exit but that go there and actually nailed it in second gear so now into the braking zone braking just before that 100 board down to second gear 
Again, use the throttle up into third gear. Nice and smooth exit there with third gear with being in the slipstream. It felt a little bit safer to do that rather than accelerating out in second gear. And we're getting very, very close now to P4. And you can see we've caught right up to P2 as well. P2 is just there, just ahead of P3 all pretty much within slipstream range of each other and we're going through with a purple sector on this lap which is pretty decent because if you look at the tyres they're more than half worn on the rear left so actually on a pretty good lap at this stage but we're going to get a little bit held up here we're going to have a little look up the inside can't really go for a move there so we're just going to hold the tight line just try and unsettle the car in front and now into the final corner can we get a good exit from this corner onto the throttle don't get a penalty this time and now we're getting the slipstream all the way into turn one. Can we have a little look up the inside here? We're gonna just stay in the slipstream, have a little look there. We're not gonna go for a move, make sure we break early, and now just try and get a good exit all the way up this hill, which we do really well. Got a much better exit than P4, and we're gonna have a little look up the inside there, and then back over to the left, back into the slipstream, and now just try and make him go defensive, which we've gone there. And now we're gonna try and get the overtake done. Very difficult to get an overtake done on this left-hand side, because the inside car has much better traction there and you can see couldn't really get that done didn't really judge it very well misjudged the time to get back on the throttle and still stuck in p5 but we got the slipstream again can we have another little look into this corner he's going to go defensive we're going to go to left then go back up the right and then go back to the left and try and go around the outside and then try and get a better exit but that hasn't worked either just trying to unsettle the car in the front at the moment putting a lot of pressure on him and you can see He's losing contact with the cars in front, so actually kind of working what we're doing because he's losing the slipstream, which will make it easier for us to overtake when it comes to trying to get that move done. So now into the left-hand corner here now, and then before the final two corners, much better exit than P4. And again, we're going to have a massive slipstream all the way into these final two corners. You can see straightaway P4 has gone very, very defensive into the corner. We're going to go to the left-hand side and now try and go right round the outside. A little bit of contact, but it wasn't deliberate and that's why we don't get a penalty as well. The tiniest bit of contact, if you do get knocked by another car out of the track limits, if it's close enough to the track limit, the game will not give you a penalty. So yeah, unfortunately though, we probably had a little bit of dirty tires from that. So as we go for this move into the braking zone, we get it slowed down, but yeah, we just get massive understeer. And I think we got a tiniest little tap again there. Again, probably why we didn't get a penalty for going wide. So again, nothing deliberate, good racing at the moment, nice hard racing. Again, we get a little bit of a bump draft from maverick there which is really grateful because that keeps me ahead of lopez into the braking zone however we get another little tap there which knocks us a little bit further wide however have managed to keep into p5 but we're running out of time now you can see that p4 is pulling away there over six temps ahead he's got enough uh, of a gap to keep the normal line and then into the braking zone again i think maverick just breaks a little bit too late or possibly got hit by lopez behind him and then that obviously knocked him into myself which knocks us nearly seven temps back but We've now got to try and get that seven tenths back within under half a lap because we need to get the overtake done on the one main position on this track. So we're going to push really aggressive through here. You can see on the replay camera, a massive moment from Maverick there in the background where he just about managed to catch it in the Supra. But now we're pushing through these corners. You can see through there right up to the limits and we're back into that slipstream, nailed that corner and got ourselves much closer to P4 again. So now through these final two corners, we've got to make sure we hit every single apex try and get on that throttle at the right point do not get a penalty and try and give ourselves an opportunity to go for another move as we can see there right into the slipstream and gaining 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 again on p4 and this is going to be incredibly close can we get this moved on on the final lap to grab this p4 position into turn one braking nice and sensibly onto the throttle now we've got to be incredibly careful with the throttle on that curb when you're following someone that close just about managed to hang on to it and now we've got the slipstream all the way up the hill. Can we make this move work now? We've got one final attempt at this overtake into the turn three, all the way to the left-hand side track, breaking a straight line. Now we keep it much wider this time, on the cut, down to first and second gear, and now a brilliant exit, and we've managed to make that move. Up on the inside, inch perfect move there to take P4, and now we're gonna go into turn four braking zone. You can see, you see Rory goes for a little look up the inside, but he does it before the braking zone. So we can just cover that inside really easily because we didn't even need to break there. So yeah, maybe if we'd have gone a little bit later, we might have made that one work, but it was a bit too early to go for that undercut on the inside. And now we're pulling away with the extra speed that we've got. We can break that slip or get close to breaking the slip and just keep on that throttle and build that gap up. So we should be okay for a P4 now. Just try and keep it nice and smooth through these final few corners. There's P3 there has a big moment on the curb. Very easy to lose control there. And we actually gained a little bit with the exit as well. 
but we're not going to be close enough to get that podium unfortunately got held up a little bit too much with that battle for p4 but that was a great battle enjoyed that one and now we just got to go through these final few corners hit the apex onto the throttle and take a very well earned p4 from p13 on the grid so done pretty well there from the back of the grid could have been a podium but a brilliant race hope you lot enjoyed that hit the like button if you enjoyed it subscribe to the channel we do stream every single day along with videos as much as possible and youtube short content so hopefully you'll enjoy it on here bye everyone